We're in Garden City, and one of the biggest events in the region is going on right now. That's Beef Empire Days, and talking with us is Brian Price, who is on the board of Beef Empire Days. Also, if you can see behind us, you know where we are. We're at the Brookover Feed Yard. Uh, talk about uh, probably the biggest question. I mean, are things back to normal with Beef Empire Days this year? Yeah, we hope uh, we kind of had a zero last year, but this year we're back to going, and we're going to try and handle all the events that they've had in the past. Uh, we, we may be a little disorganized, but bear with us. We'll get things done for everybody and, and uh, hope the event goes off real good. Uh, we had kind of a short notice that we could go, and uh, so everybody's working really hard on the committee to try and get things uh, ready for the week of June. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the history of Beef Empire Days. Many folks all over the state have been a part of it, either participated in it or had some of the great beef and just the celebration that's going on. And we'll also talk about some of those events, what's going to be going on in the second big weekend of Beef Empire Days. So stay with us. We'll have more coming up. Beef Empire Days here in Garden City is underway, and joining us is Brian Price, who is uh, from Brookover Feed Yard, but also a board of director of Beef Empire Days. So, uh, Brian, as we talk about uh, things are back at it this year, uh, tell us some history. I mean, this is an event that's been going on for a long time. Yeah, this will be the 53rd year. It started in 1969, and it was a group of cattlemen that got together and a pack and plant uh, people at the time that decided that we needed to promote the beef and uh, provide some education for producers and to give back to the community of, uh, uh, that supports our, our industry and, and, and all of southwest Kansas. Well, let's talk about that. And I can remember, uh, boy, for years there, there have been all kinds of shows, been carcass shows. There has been opportunities to educate uh, maybe uh, consumers that want to know maybe a little bit more of what this whole thing means. I mean, you know, where, where the, this feed yard is, 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 is almost being encompassed by town, but you're still here. And so uh, talk about that relationship with the beef industry and Garden City. Well, the, the, the beef industry has, has grown ever since, the, just like the event has grown. And the 70s were kind of the time that it kicked off cattle feeding in western Kansas. And it's, it's become a big part of the, the economy, uh, both with the packing plants and the trucking and, and all the things that go along with it. So it's, uh, it's tried to, we're trying to put emphasis on that, uh, help people understand that we produce safe, healthy, products for the, for the consumers and uh, and we're really accepted by the community uh, uh, they they've uh, th this feed yard was five miles from town when mr. Brookover started it in 1951 and now it's uh, it's they're right on our heels so talk about this event from a standpoint of it's really year-round planning I mean once this event gets over uh, for 2021 discussions will be made for 2022 how to, and it seems like every year that discussion is how to make it a little better. Yeah, that that's right. Uh, right, you know, the next next year is just trying to get uh, back to where we were and get uh, the the community and the and the people involved and and get uh, the participation back up. Uh, get the feed yards to send plenty of cattle for the live show uh, and get them to come to the events that we have uh, in the evenings and and the symposium and things like that. All right, so uh, we're going to take a break. We're going to talk about some of those events as uh, the second uh, week of uh, Beef Empire Day is underway here in Garden City, so stay with us. And we're in Garden City. Beef Empire Days is underway. Brian Price, member of the Board of Directors, is uh, joining us. And uh, Brian, uh, We've talked about the history. We've talked about yes, it's a go. But th now let's talk about uh, the second big week of Beef Empire Days. Well, what's going to be going on? What can people expect? Okay, uh, starting off on Tuesday at nine o'clock in the morning is the main event, which is the beef uh, steer and heifer show. Uh, local feed yards uh, bring animals to the to be judged uh, by a, an, an independent person, and uh, then they'll be uh, placed and on. Uh, Friday of that week, uh, the same week, they'll have a carcass show 
and uh, that will determine the, the winners and, uh, and the awards and all those things will be given out. So. Also an opportunity, you want to see uh, kind of your, your uh, city cousins come out from really from the region and uh, uh, it's all, it's, 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 I guess for lack of a better term, it's, it, it's kind of a big party as well. Well, we hope it, we hope it uh, is kind of a social uh, thing for, for people to come. We have the, we have the uh, cattle working contest uh, that week, we have the awards banquet, we have the sponsors reception for all the people we, we run off of of uh, uh, sponsors uh, and their donations to keep the, the event going. And then uh, on Saturday we have uh, Chuck Wagons in the Park, which is a, a community feed, uh, the beef battalion that uh, does a lot of uh, cooking for our soldiers as they leave uh, out for different parts of the world and come back in. Uh, they're going to they're gonna cook the, the steaks and everything for everybody. And then on uh, uh, Sunday there's also a, an event called the Cattle Crawl where we go around and sample uh, menus of the different restaurants around in town that, that cook beef and, and, uh, and, and serve for everybody. Well, it sounds like it's another great event. And uh, before we let you go, we've got to talk about folks like you and, and others that volunteer their time to serve on the board. Uh, as we said earlier, I mean, this is a, this is a job that I've, everybody has their thing to do and, and need to get it taken care of, but it takes, it takes a large group to pull this off. Yeah, we have a you know we have a, a pretty good uh, board of directors. Uh, they all work hard to to take on uh, different areas of the event. Uh, we got a lot of young guys on this time around, and so uh, getting them we kind of lost some time last year with uh, getting them trained. But we'll get them trained this year, and uh, we'll get the get the events figured out and get uh, get it so the community can enjoy it. Folks, go go down to the fairgrounds, and they'll find something for them. Yeah, the fairgrounds, the park, uh, uh, Stevens uh, Park there in the middle of town, they'll have a big, big parade on Saturday, and uh, then the chuck wagons at the zoo, so uh, there's plenty of things to do for two or three days there, one right after another. And I would guess Mother Nature's going to cooperate, won't she? We sure hope so, <laughs> but the rain's nice. Well, it, never going to complain. <laughs> Not out here where you don't. All right, Brian, we appreciate it. Good luck with the rest of uh, Beef Empire Days and uh, looking forward to, uh, to hearing all the successes. Thanks. Thank you. Brian Price, who is a member of the Board of Directors of Beef Empire Days, also with Brookover Feed Yard, has joined us. Stay with us. We'll have more coming up.